All right, STLP, here we go. It has been a fantastic week. We have shifted our STLP state championship over to STLP at home. And for 2020, we are proving that Kentucky is number one in education technology. We are leading the country again. Um, and this STLP week has been nothing but uh, proof that as a state, as, as an organization, as schools, as districts, that we kept going in the face of this terrible, awful crisis. And this past week with our STLP at Home State Championship, uh, we have proven to the world that Kentucky is not going to settle to the side, that we continue to take the lead and we are going to continue to have learning happen in authentic, real ways. And you guys have proven this week that STLP is something that we can take advantage of and use to help our school, help our community in the face of even a pandemic. So thank you for everyone who has uh, participated in STLP at Home this week. My name's Jeff Sabalski, and if we haven't met yet, uh, I will tell you I have the best job in the entire state of Kentucky because I get to run and help facilitate this STLP program, the Student Technology Leadership Program for our Kentucky Department of Education and for you. Uh, so this week has really been the highlight of the year. Um, it's sad that we couldn't all get together to see each other. You know, uh, last year we had about 14,000 of us come together to help celebrate students using technology to learn in schools in Kentucky. We all came together at Rupp Arena. It's something we've been doing for 13 years, having our state championship uh, in, in Lexington at Rupp Arena, filling the place uh, with just amazing students, with amazing digital products, digital projects, and uh, different ways that, they're, that you have been using technology to help your community, your school, and to teach others. So uh, yeah, we're sad that we couldn't get together, but we've moved forward and we found a way to keep STLP happening and thriving. And I thank you for that. And I thank all of our STLP coaches who uh, have helped you over the last few weeks get everything ready for these competitions that we've had this week. Um, so without further ado, I think I'd like to jump in and we are going to start talking about uh, about three things here with this video. Today, we're going to highlight uh, some students who would have been at the state championship in Lexington to help us run the event through our service teams. We're going to uh, talk about the live challenges that still happened this week. We had multiple events that folks had pre-registered for uh, to come to April, uh, to come to the state championship in April and to do live at the state championship in Lexington. Well, we had some great category leads that jumped in and said, we can still find a way to make this work. So we have winners in those categories we want to announce. And also we want to announce all of our digital product winners. Uh, you've been alerted to who the finalists are. And today we're going to find out who ranked in second place and who came in first place for each of the divisions. So without further ado, let's get this ball rolling. First things first, I want to take a few minutes and talk about our service team members who would have come to Lexington to help us run the state championship. Let's start with our live production team. And if you're not familiar with these folks, what, a, what even a live production team would be, or any of our service teams, the idea really is that we had students who came to our regional events and sat down and interviewed for positions on these teams. So what you may not realize is that the STLP State Championship in the background is really run all by volunteers and students. And these folks on our service teams were the folks who were going to be in Lexington helping us do that. So let's recognize our live production team. Several members came to regionals, applied, interviewed, and earned spots. Today, I want to celebrate Abigail from South Christian Elementary. Albany from Roby Elementary in Bullitt County, Art Juan from Breckenridge Metro High School in Jefferson County, Drew from Drake's Creek, 
Isaiah from Breckenridge, Josie A from Bowen Elementary School in Powell County, Josie H from R.A. Jones Middle School, Kennedy from Jefferson Elementary School, Leonardo from Lassiter Middle School, Lily from Grant Slick Elementary School, and Lindsay from Duff Allen Central Elementary School. Our live production team would have been in Lexington working hand in hand with professionals from Kentucky Education Television, who are, are one of our biggest partners with everything we do with STLP. Uh, KET is a tremendous asset to everyone in the state of Kentucky, but every year uh, KET Education comes and is a, a number one partner uh, with our STLP state championship. And throughout the year, you you actually, if you came to regionals, I'm sure you ran into the folks from KET because they came to every regional event. So our live production team would have been working with them to actually produce our live broadcast, which this award show would have been live on the one of the KET channels, and, and these folks would have helped make that happen. So great opportunity, and thank you for our live production team, folks. Congratulations for being selected. Another team we have is our media arts team. And so uh, with the help of, uh, of folks from all over the state, and in particular Gina Ryan, um, who had comes to uh, our state championship and helps lead our media arts team. And what the media arts team does is spend the day shooting footage and then editing a video that we use as the opening credits to our award show in the evening. So pretty awesome. Uh, here's the folks that would have been on our, our team this year. Abby from Russell Middle School, Ozzy from Crawford Middle School, Ava from J. Graham Brown School, Cameron from Floyd Central High School, Celia from Heritage Elementary School, Dalton from Perry County Central, Hayden from Crawford Middle School, Jacob from Crawford Middle School, Jordan from Pulaski County High School, and Keegan from Nelson County High School, as well as Cohen from Duff Allen Central, Lauren T. from Henderson County High, Mackenzie C. from Scott County High, Malcolm from Crawford Middle School, Marie from Henry Moss, Mary from South Olden High School, Matthew from Heritage Elementary, Rebecca from Heritage Elementary, Thomas from Crawford Middle School, and Zoe from Heritage Elementary. Together, they would have made our media arts team. They would have worked pretty hard throughout the day to get that video shot, edited, and produced. Um, so impressive stuff. Our next team, our next service team was our social media team. And so, you know, we take great advantage uh, through our of our social media accounts for STLP, uh, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. We have our social media team actually out and about on the floor at Rupp Arena, taking videos and writing stories and actually helping us with our wall of winners. So let's celebrate Ava from Breckenridge County High School, Chad from Georgia Chaffee Taps High School, Lacey from Boyd County, Marley from R.A. Jones Middle, Michaela from Central High School, Rachel from Corbin, Rashida from Paul Lawrence Dunbar, and Tom from Freedom Elementary School in Christian County, who would have been our social media team. And next we have our STLP engineers, who really kind of like the epitome, the pinnacle of STLP. Our engineers uh, are folks who are, they're all high school level, and they are often folks who have been in STLP since first grade kindergarten and have seen what it's all about and want to share their skills uh, in a position uh, to to help others at our events. So uh, our, our STLP engineers is led by our, our coordinator, Casey Woods, who's uh, the DTC in Dayton Independent. And actually, as a matter of fact, right before all everything kind of fell apart in the world, our engineers were, here's a great picture of them, were, were at the KISTI conference in Louisville in the beginning of March, and they provided the tech support for the large largest statewide technology conference that we have in Kentucky for, for teachers. Um, and so we all came to Louisville for a few days and ran around and helped everyone at this conference. I'll point out, I mentioned before, KET is a tremendous partner uh, with STLP. 
Our, our, another spectacular, probably our second or equal to KET is KISTI. Uh, and KISTI is the Kentucky Society for Technology and Education. They sponsor our STLP engineers at their conference every year. And uh, they actually offer an STLP scholarship that we'll be announcing a little bit later on today. So our, our engineer team was made up of Cole from Russell High School, Dakota from Nelson County, Dalton from Bowling Green, Allie from Owen County, Jack from Lafayette, Jalen from Hopkinsville, Jenna from Belfry, Manish from Campbell, Mann from Southwestern High School, and Rue from Central High School Magnet Career Center. And a tremendous group of young people they are. Once an engineer, always an engineer. And so we're proud to have them on our team. Now let's change gears a little bit and let's move forward with our challenge champions. So we just talked about our service teams. Now let's talk about the folks who participated this week in various competitions that were held in an all digital format. A lot of folks signed up to come to the state championship in person and participate in our live challenges. We have about 30 of them. And at those events, it's often you walk into a room, for example, with our, say our web design challenge, and you're given a prompt, create a web design, you bring your own laptop, and you have two hours to create a website. Um, these kind of challenges are very technical, hands-on, uh, really showing your skills, and kind of going head-to-head -head with other students who also share your skills. So a lot of those competitions didn't transition well to an all-digital format. There's some things you just got to get in and, and use your hands and, and share with people in, in person. Uh, but the ones that we could move forward with, we did. And we're really appreciative of all of our category leads who stepped up and said, listen, I think I have a way that we could reimagine these challenges and present them to the students that were pre-registered to come to state. So we did that. And let's take a look at a few of those. Let's start with our coding challenge and a big shout out and thank you to Ms. Nicole Bauer, who's the, the DTC in Henry County and Jay Morgan, who these two have helped us present the coding challenge. I have to say the, the, the evening that we announced that we were gonna be postponing the STLP state championship, it, it was within the hour uh, that these two reached out and said, I think we, we can keep moving ahead if, if you're gonna still have the, the competition. So let's talk about our winners for the coding challenge. In the six through eight division, Ava D from John W. Bate Middle School from Danville Independent was our first place champion. Congrats, Ava. And in the nine through 12 division, Tucker from Bowling Green High School came in second place. And our first place champion in the nine through 12 division for the coding challenge was Scott from Madison Southern High School in Madison County. Congratulations to everyone that participated in the coding challenge. I, I popped in, they actually did it over Google Meet, uh, had the grid view up and it was really great to see everyone kind of all in the same space, asking the same sort of questions they had if we had been together in person in Lexington. So thank you to everyone that participated in the coding challenge. Great job. Next, we have the Game Design Challenge. Now, this category is led by uh, Mr. Keith Barnes, who's a digital learning coach out of Bullitt County. He's been leading the STLP Game Design Challenge for many, many years, and uh, it has gotten stronger and better every year. Let's see who our second place, six or eight champion this year went to Russell Middle School. And our first place, six or eight Game Design Champion went to Franklin Simpson Middle School in Simpson County. Congrats to everyone who participated in the Game Design Challenge. Our next category is a big favorite. Um, and, you know, obviously a lot of our competitions took a little bit of a hit in participation, but this one is one that did not take a big lump. It's one kind of kept going strong with a lot of folks who are interested. Shout out and thanks to our co-leads, Dr. Marty Park, and Jody Rose both uh, work with me in the Office of Education Technology in the Kentucky Department of Education. Uh, let's look at their K through five second place winners. Went to Bowen Elementary in Powell County. 
in first place in K through five, went to Pleasant Grove Elementary School from Bullock County. The six through eight division second place, Drake's Creek Middle School, Warren County. And the team that took first place in six through eight was from Cumberland County Middle School. Our nine through 12 division second place goes to Randall K. Cooper High School from Boone County. And first place in the Kentucky Cinemania for nine through 12 goes to Bourbon County High School in Bourbon County. Congratulations to all of our Kentucky Cinema contestants. Thank you for participating in these last couple of weeks. Our next category is the Kentucky Travel category, led by Miss Christy Turberville, a digital learning coach also from Bullock County, who has really kind of reinvented the, the scoring guide and plans for this this year. We kind of just blew it up and built it back from the ground up, and I think it's stronger than ever. Let's look at our K through five division. Second grade or second place team is the Flying Cardinals from Grant Slick Elementary in Campbell County. And first place K through five division for Kentucky Travel goes to the Timberwolves from West Ridge Elementary in Franklin County. Moving on to six through eight division, BG for you at BGJHS. Bowling Green Junior High. And first place, 6 through 8 division, there's only one Floyd County, Duff Allen Central in Floyd County. Now, second place for our 9 through 12 division, and first place, we didn't actually have any folks compete in that. Um, so hopefully next year we'll get some more folks involved. For our next category, Quick Tech Recall. Giant thank you goes out again to Ms. Rhonda Thompson, who is the District Technology Coordinator in Jackson County, stepped up and, and again said, we can do this and we can do it all online. And we did. And it was great. Second place, K-5, through five, went to Brody G, Grant Slick Elementary from Campbell County. K-5, through five, first place division, Quick Tech Recall, Alexis F., from Jefferson Elementary in Henderson County. Six through eight, second place, Neely C. from Franklin Simpson Middle School. And first place, six through eight division goes to Ruthie B. from Duff Allen Central in Floyd County. Second place in the nine through 12 division, Ethan S. from Scott County High School. And that means first place went to Kaylin B. from Oldham County High School in Oldham County. Thank you, everyone who participated in the Quick Tech Recall Challenge. Uh, hope it was a great experience and looking forward to seeing you next year. And that is uh, all of our live challenges kind of happened simultaneously this week, different, different times, different days. But congratulations to everyone who had the opportunity to participate and found a way to make it happen. Uh, thank you so much. And uh, as we move forward and we know that there are some uncertain times ahead and we're, we're not ever sure exactly what the next steps are going to be right now, um, it makes me feel good to know that we took STLP and we reinvented it into an all digital format and it was a, a success. So that tells us looking ahead, we can do this with a lot of other things. So thanks for everyone who pitched in and participated. Great job. Now, let's move on to our next big category, our digital product champs. So let's get a little bit of history here. Digital product champs. So if we trace this back, these are the entries that were part of our DPOJ, our digital product online judging competition that we uh, held back in January. So these are creations that students have made using digital tools that were submitted and judged entirely online over the course of a few weeks, January to February. And from the thousands of entries that we had for DPOJ, the semifinalists were picked and invited to move on to the STLP state championship. So over the last few weeks, what a perfect fit, right? Our, our digital products were being scored just as if we were going to be preparing to go to Lexington for the state championship. So we have our digital product champs today that we can share with you. Now, 
The folks who were finalists were uh, announced and put on our uh, STLP at Home website. So now those folks are about to find out if they are going to be second place or if they are first place winners in their category. Here's our first category. Book trailer. Very popular. Lots of great entries. I enjoyed looking through these. Our second place K through five division book trailer is How Dinosaurs Eat from Allen Elementary School in Floyd County. And the K through five division first place goes to Wonder from Blake Elementary School in Jefferson County. Great job. Our six through eight division book trailer second place goes to Lydia B for her book trailer of Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Lydia is from Graves County Middle School in Graves County. And that means first place, sixth through eight division goes to the Patriot Production Book Club for their Six of Crows book trailer from James E. Basil Middle School in Allen County. That brings us to our nine through 12 division. Second place goes to Hunter with his quarantine. Hunter's from South Oldham High School. And that brings us to first place book trailer, BCHS freshman team for their trailer for Medea from Boyd County High School in Boyd County. Congratulations to all of our book trailer winners. Next category is digital art. Digital art is so fun because we get to see such a wide variety of what folks can create using digital tools and it is, it's mind blowing. And I don't know how our judges narrow it down to our semifinalists, let alone into our finalists. But for the folks that uh, we're naming right now, congratulations. Your work is very impressive. So for our K through five division, digital art second place goes to Mamie for her work unique from Northern Elementary School in Pulaski County. And first place K through five division. Lily in a Jar from Madison M. Wellington Elementary, Fayette County. Second place in our 6 through 8 Digital Art Division goes to Link for My Friend Trace, Russell Middle School, Russell Independent. And 6 through 8 Digital Art first place winner is Nielsen P. for Metamorphosis from Bryan Station Middle School in Fayette County. Our nine through 12 second place winner, Deja B for Misfit. Deja is from Bryan Station High School in Fayette County. And our first place digital art nine through 12 goes to Jordan for Altered Self-Portrait, Marion County High School, Marion County. Our next category is digital music. And now as we jump into digital music, I'm going to I'm going to announce our K through five second place winner real quick. Um, second place, Emma W for Crazy John and Emma's from Wellington Elementary in Fayette County. But what I want to point out to you here is I've included on this this particular slide and all the digital music slides a web address that will take you to the STLP at home uh, info central web page. And there you can find links to all of the digital products. All of our all of our semifinalists and finalist products are there. I link this now and I point this out because the music samples are out there and we I want you to go hear them. Um, the digital art stuff, it's obviously easy to include in this presentation because you can see it. Uh, but the, the digital music, I want you to go and listen to it into its entirety um, and enjoy it. Uh, it's, it's amazing. You will absolutely be blown away by what these, these students have done. So moving on our K through five division, first place digital music, the rabbit chase from Henry B Sutton elementary, Owensboro independent. Now six through eight division, second place digital music goes to as a G for Latin vibes, Woodford County middle school in Woodford County. And first place, six through eight, goes to The Chase from Aiden B., Franklin Simpson Middle School, Simpson County. Our nine through 12, second place, digital music, Better Days from Tanner, from Bryan Station High School in Fayette County. 
And first place goes to Sean M. for Heartbreak Music from Christian County High School, Christian County. Great work, guys. In our next category, digital storytelling. This is a fun one because it really lets students take advantage of their imagination, not only to create something visual, but also to come up with an amazing story. And I think you will really enjoy checking them out. Here's our K through five second place winner, Children of Gods, AJ from Glasscock Elementary in Marion County. K through five division first place goes to Fulfilled from Caroline, Concord Elementary, McCracken County. Six through eight division second place goes to Mason for stories that will chill you to the bone. Mason's from Eastside Middle School in Bullock County. First place, 6th through 8th division, goes to Kiara T. for Vegetation of Envy, Tates Creek Middle School in Fayette County. Our 9 through 12 division digital storytelling, second place, Pathogen. The OIA team from Owensboro Innovation Academy at Owensboro Independent. And our first place, 9 through 12 digital storytelling, Jorge, Unexpected Guests. Central High School Magnet Career Academy in Jefferson County. Our next category is documentary. Now, this is just what you would imagine. Students have picked a topic, learned a great deal about it, and are telling you uh, what they've learned in a very artistic way using video production. And here is our K through five division, second place documentary winner, Veterans Day from Simmons Elementary School in Woodford County. K through five first place documentary goes to Girls Who Code, Taking Control of Our Future from West Ridge Elementary in Franklin County. Six through eight second place, Ice House from Gabe W. Graves County Middle School. And first place documentary for Win Win from Mia from Laurel, North Laurel Middle School, excuse me, Laurel County. 9 through 12 division second place, We Believe from Ethan B. Metcalf County High School. And our next category is e-publishing. Another uh, great category that lets students really let their imagination soar. Um, K through 5 division second place, goes to the Crossroads team for Plastic Pollution, Crossroads Elementary School in Bullock County. K through five first place goes to Internet Safety from Bailey P. of Wellington Elementary in Fayette County. Six through eight e-publishing second place for My Digital Portfolio goes to Baines from Laurel County Middle School. And first place, six through eight, Wake Up Woodford from Woodford County Middle School. 9 through 12, first place winner, Bit Life at Cooper, A Guide to Daily Survival. Randall K. Cooper High School, Nathan C. Great job with those. And our next category is feature video. So you can imagine feature videos is if you can imagine the digital storytelling, we've written a story, now we're really getting into options to produce a video where maybe there's some acting and some fun props. Let's see what we have from our K through five division second place winners for the man, Peaks Mill Elementary in Franklin County. Feature video K through five first place goes to the unknown from West Ridge Elementary in Franklin County. Feature video six through eight second place, Reporter Porter from Drew, Drake's Creek Middle School, Warren County. Six through eight division feature video first place goes to Todd. Day student drop off and pick up procedures, Duff Allen Central Elementary, Floyd County. Ninth grade second place feature video goes to Alexis C's, 2,102,400 minutes. Alexis is from Randall K. Cooper High School in Boone County. And first place, 9 through 12 division, 
Behind the Scenes of the Dent Schoolhouse from Marissa B. Highlands High School, Fort Thomas Independent. Congratulations to all of our feature video champions. Our next category is Girls Who Code. And what an amazing story we see in Kentucky uh, behind Girls Who Code uh, under the leadership of Laura Raganos, who also I get to work with at the Office of Education Technology at KDE, uh, has, has facilitated and made Girls Who Code widely and readily available to as many schools as want to participate as possible. And we can say that we have seen an explosion of Girls Who Code in Kentucky, um, thanks to Laura and all the teachers across the state who have stepped up to get behind Girls Who Code and embrace it. Um, let's see who our winners are for this year's Girls Who Code competition. The third through fifth grade division, second place, goes to Calvary Elementary from Marion County. And first place, third through five division, is Westridge Elementary from Franklin County. And I should point out, the, the, each of the Girls Who Code teams have, began a project that has worked throughout the entire year. And it's using coding and they are submitting, they've submitted their plans for how they're using their project and uh, they're phenomenal. And I'm just so proud of them. And let's look at the 6 through 12 division, Girls Who Code. Second place goes to B. Michael Cottle Middle School in Madison County. And that means first place, 6 through 12 division, goes to Bryan Station Middle in Fayette County. Congratulations to all the Girls Who Code participants. Can't wait to see what you're going to come up with next year. Our next category is graphic design. K through five division, second place goes to Together We Are Everything from Kendall B at Dare County Elementary. First place goes to Harriet the Brave from Sophie from Bloom Elementary in Jefferson County. Our six through eight division, graphic design, second place goes to Bradley Yours from Eza G, Woodford County Middle School. And first place, 6th or 8th division for Garden Club from Lily G at Butler County Middle School in Butler County. 9th through 12th division, graphic design, 2nd place. 10-minute playlist from Paige at Frederick Douglass High School in Fayette County. And 9th through 12th, first place for graphic design for FontBot from Gian F. from Christian County High School in Christian County. Amazing stuff. I love it. Next thing up, we have our infographic category. And so infographic, you can imagine where this is students using uh, visual arts and media arts to share something that they've learned um, through a, an exciting visual format. And here are our winners. K through five division infographic second place goes to Food Waste in Schools in America from Claire S. Northern Elementary School, Pulaski County. K through five, first place, infographic, Mindfulness Matters from Braden at Audubon Elementary in Davies County. Six through eight division, second place, different types of learning from Amy C. at Mazik Middle School in Jefferson County. And six through eight, first place infographic, for Silky Chickens from Christopher at Rich Pond Elementary in Warren County. 9 through 12 Division Infographic Second Place, Systems of Government from Megan at Scott County High School, which means 9 through 12 Infographic First Place goes to Corn Infographic from Eli at Bowling Green High School in Bowling Green Independent. Another great partner we have are our friends at Kate from Murray State uh, who have supported STLP and participated in many ways for many years. And we're so happy to have them on board with us there. They have a theme every year and this year's theme produced some amazing results. Let's look at our K through five first place winner, Be Kind from 
Gamaliel Elementary, and Monroe County. In the 6th through 8th Division, second place for the Kate product goes to the GCMS team for cyberbullying, Gallatin County Middle School, Gallatin County. 6 through 8 first place for Kate, the HMMS team, School Safety, Henry Moss Middle School in Warren County. Our next category is Manipulated Image, and this is an interesting category where uh, participants take multiple original images and combine them to create an entirely new image. And I think you'll get an idea of what we're talking about when we look at our K through five division manipulated image. Second place goes to basketball greats from Skyler at Ben Johnson Elementary School in Breckenridge County. K through five division first place goes to McKenna for Watch Out from Audubon Elementary in Davis County. Six through eight division second place. Owensboro Union Station, then and now, from David E. Owensboro Innovation Middle School, Owensboro Independent. And 6 through 8, manipulated image first place for the secret no one must know from Miranda Teague, Cumberland County Middle School in Cumberland County. 9 through 12, manipulated image second place, face to face, goes to Chloe B. Highlands High School, Fort Thomas Independent. 9 through 12, first place manipulated image, this is me, Gracie B. from Bryan Station High School in Fayette County. Our next category is the Minecraft category. And uh, it's, been a, it's been amazing to watch the interest in the Minecraft category over the years. I'm actually going to take a moment now and I'm going to, I'm going to, pause and we're going to do something a little bit different because uh, my other uh, co-worker that I'm so lucky to work with, Mr. James Allen, who leads our library media specialist uh, efforts for the Kentucky Department of Education, helped uh, put together a little video, to a little overview video for you to take a peek at of the Minecraft challenge and to see what our winners actually look like uh, and hear from the students. So without further ado, let's pull up the video. So we do not run out of it and can live on Mars as long as we need. This is the bedroom. We need the bedroom because we need to have a place to sleep. We need sleep to have energy for the next day ahead of us. First, let's show you what is going on outside. Here are multiple return rockets ready to go. Over there, we have supply rockets that bring supplies to not produce on Mars regularly. For reliable power, we use a small nuclear reactor to run our air and water as essential systems. Water is a valuable resource in space and very expensive to ship from Earth. So there is a large water filtration and recycling plant. Robots. Here we're going to be going in the main entrance of our dome for the Mars colony. So you just walk on in there. Stand in the drainage unit and flip the lever four times slowly to be sanitized. So you just stand in there and hit the lever. One, two, three, four. Boom. Now you've been sanitized and you can just go on in to the rest of the colony. Here is our water treatment facility. This building is designed for storing and purifying water. In the building, we have tanks with ice to convert it into a drinkable state. We also put in an opening in the floor for our ice roll to receive ice for purification. There's a water tower with our water inside of it, made for easy access. There's a garage to keep our Land Rovers. The Land Rovers would help with crossing distances and collecting samples to take back to Earth for scientific research. The entirety of our base is built on the northern ice cap of the planet for better weather and for our ice. We 
We have windmills for power. We have a large satellite for reaching Earth. We have solar panels for power. Hey judges, you must be the new recruit. Come on in. This is Dome Vector 1. It's where we keep the trees that need the space. We keep our rovers here as well. You can see the solar panels on their backs. Sadly, we can't use this method to charge the colony, as the dust makes solar power unreliable. Here, hop in the elevator. I'm gonna pass you to private rigs. I'm Robert. I'm in charge of the first floor. This is where you'll sleep and eat. In here is the med bay. It's under quarantine. The only time you'll go in there is when you're not feeling well. Right here is the bedding area. Your bed is C5. Now if you go back to the elevator, I'll hand you to Brady. Hi, I'm Farmer Cunniff. I'm in charge of the agriculture floor. Over there, we have our crops. We use a hydroponic system that allows the crop to grow in this environment. On the other end, we have my stable boy, Gavin. Say hi, Gavin. Howdy, rookie. I tend to the livestock down here. It takes some hard work and strong will to get them in their testers for their evaluations. The cleaning, the feeding, and the slaughtering. We have to put them in these chambers to ensure they are healthy and don't have any diseases that could harm us or the other livestock. Alrighty, I think that's it, partner. Off the elevator with you to call in on the next floor down. So there you have it. Minecraft, Mars Colony, um... Pretty amazing, kind of blows my mind uh, the level that these students can take Minecraft and uh, utilize it as a as a coding tool, as a programming tool. Uh, they had to do a lot of research to figure out how to survive on an inhospitable planet like Mars, and they really brought it to life uh, in their Minecraft build. So if you didn't catch that, here are the K through five division winners. Shelby Sharks, Shelby Traditional Academy, second place for K through five division, the Martian Miners from Western Academy in Shelby County, first place K through five, six through eight, MCMS Mars Monkeys, Monroe County Middle School, and second place went to the Gator Gamers from Drake's Creek Middle School. Nine through 12, second place, Rad Gang from the Greenwood High School in Warren County. And first place went to Team Vector from Taylor County High School there in Taylor County. So thank you for everyone who participated. Um, and I know that this year was a, uh, you know, we faced several different challenges with some platform changes and some, some leadership changes, but thanks for sticking with us and providing such amazing work. So great job. Our next category moving on on our digital product list is multimedia. K through five division, second place goes to Mercy T for Mercy's Kitchen from Sutton Elementary School, Owensboro Independent. K through five first place multimedia content goes to Jackson's Mistake from Tristan P, Northern Elementary, Pulaski County. Six through eight division, second place, the TAC file from Rami F, Woodford County Middle School. First place, 6 through 8 division, goes to Todd P. ISEF promotional video for the EKY SEF, Duff Allen Central Elementary in Floyd County. 9 through 12 division, second place, goes to Arnov D for colors from Russell High School in Russell Independent. And that means first place, 9 through 12 division, it's all about the base from Jessica A and her team at Randall K. Cooper High School in Boone County. Another big category that folks really can get into is original photo. 
most of us are walking around with an with an HD camera in our pocket and snapping photos. Looks easy, but these folks really have some technical background to make the most out of their camera. Uh, here we go with our K through five division original photo second place for Taste the Rainbow from Hema P. Low Elementary School in Jefferson County. First place K through five division. The Snow Angel from Colton M. Brandenburg Primary in Meade County. Six through eight original photo. Second place goes for Modern 70s by Molly H. North Laurel Middle School. Six through eight first place original photo. Mountain Reflections, Alexa M. Duff Allen Central Elementary in Floyd County. Our 9 through 12 division second place original photo is Perspectives from Gage in Gallatin County High School, which means our 9 through 12 first place is Into the Light from Gracie R. Prestonsburg High School, Floyd County. Our next category is another video category, the PSA or Public Service Announcement category. Now, this is challenging because students had to fit into a very tight time frame for their video, a very precise time frame, uh, because these PSAs could be used for broadcast television. And uh, as we can imagine, TV stations have a set time for PSAs, and these guys had to teach a lesson, uh, tell a story, or uh, inform folks in a very short time frame. Our K-5 through Division second place PSA goes to RRR, Relearn, Rethink, Recycle from Westridge Elementary School in Franklin County. K-5 through Division first place PSA, How Can You Prevent the Flu? West Marion Elementary in Marion County. Six through eight Division PSA second place, You Don't Know, North Laurel Middle School, Laurel County. Six through eight Division PSA first place, be beautiful, be brave, North Laurel Middle School, Lowell County. So that's a, that's a, they dominated that category. Great job, North Laurel Middle School. 9 through 12 division, Drone City Beautification from Frankfurt High School, Frankfurt Independent. And first place, 9 through 12, goes to Captain Clean Lung, Frederick Douglass High School, Fayette County. The screen capture category, screen capture tutorial, is all based on students uh, taking a video of their screen while they are teaching a skill to someone. So without further ado, here's our K-5 through division screen capture tutorial. Second place winner goes to How to Log into Clever from Will A, Northern Elementary School in Pulaski County. K-5 through division first grade, or excuse me, K-5 through division First place for a screen capture tutorial goes to Google Settings for Kids, an advanced tutorial from Zoe W. Crestwood Elementary, Oldham County. Six through eight, division second place, scratch message blocks from Jeremy P. North Oldham Middle School. And six through eight, first place, how to personalize your Google home screen from Madeline S. Robert D. Campbell, Junior High, Clark County. Nine through 12, second place screen capture tutorial, Gmail signature from Sophia P. Warren East High School in Warren County. Nine through 12, screen capture tutorial, first place goes to Desmos from Arnav D. Russell High School, Russell Independent. And our last digital product category is technical writing. Technical writing, K through five division second place winner for Flipgrid, Clark B at Audubon Elementary School in Davies County. K through five first place goes to how to upload artifacts to your JCPS backpack from Deja B, Blake Elementary School, Jefferson County. Second place, six through eight division, technical writing, how to sign in by Addie V, Franklin Simpson Middle School, Simpson County. And 
six through eight division, first place technical writing, how to fix a black screen on an iPhone from Lacey at Duff Allen Central Elementary. There's a name we heard quite a bit today. Six or eight division, uh, excuse me, nine through 12 division, second place for Google Expeditions from Arnav D, Russell High School, Russell Independent. And that means our nine through 12 division technical writing first place goes to High Fidelity Mannequin from Nick K, Bowling Green High School, Bowling Green Independent. So congratulations to all of our digital product winners, our champions, all of our live challenge champions from STOP at Home Week, and a big shout out thank you to all of our service team uh, members who were ready to roll and come help us make the STOP state championship at Rupp Arena be as phenomenal as it's ever been. So quick uh, sort of housekeeping here is to let you know all the folks who uh, we announced today will be receiving uh, a trophy an award now we'll be having those sent to your district office and your ed tech leader in your district will help us distribute those out to your schools obviously that's not going to happen until we are back into school buildings we don't necessarily know when that's going to be at this at this moment. So just know awards will be coming and we will uh, do our very best to make sure that they get to uh, each of your students. Um, but thank you in advance for your patience as we work through this. I know that it will be probably one of the last things on your list of things to worry about, but just know that it's something that we're going to work on and we're going to make sure that you get the uh, recognition and accolades that you deserve for your hard work and your success as part of STLP at home. Which brings up my last point. Again, all of the products, all of the names of students, all the videos, all the digital music, all the digital art can be viewed if you go to this web address, bit.ly slash STLP at home 2020. Or you can always go to the uh, STLP website, the stlp.education.ky.gov, and click on the links there. Uh, but please, I encourage you to go out, see this work firsthand, show it off. We'll be adding it to our champs list on our website. So it will your work will be out there for, for years to come and for people to look at for inspiration um, and to get an idea about what championship work looks like in STLP. So thank you all so much. Um, if you are a project team, stick around and here in a little bit at the same uh, location, we're going to broadcast our STLP state championship uh, project announcements. So hope to see you then. Stay safe and thank you for participating.